What is good guys and welcome back to another FTB maintenance video. Today we're gonna go ahead and install an ignition coil. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I will go ahead and show you right now what tools you will need. First things first, obviously you need your ignition coil. I have one right here. I ended up getting the Doro Last as from AutoZone. Um, cost me about roughly $50 um, for this uh, specific model which is a 2007 honda civic ex second you're gonna go ahead and need to get a 10 millimeter bolt for this spec model it probably varies between car to car but a 10 millimeter is what i have essentially i do like to use an extension though just to make it simpler so that way my hand isn't too close once i get the ratchet and once mentioning the ratchet that is the third thing that you will need is a ratchet so pretty much just this simple setup is all you really need to have just to get this ignition coil out, replaced, and installed. So first things first, make sure you go ahead and pop the hood open. And then you should be rocking because obviously you got to get access to the car. So pretty much this is what your engine bay is going to look like uh, for this specific model of the Honda. Like I said, it varies depending on the car. But these are your ignition coils right here these four we're gonna go ahead and swap out my bad that was an evo but um yeah we're gonna go ahead and swap out this one right here because this one's kind of old and i will show you guys what i basically mean so you're gonna grab your uh ratchet and your millimeter bolt and then you're just gonna go ahead and loosen the bolts up just like so once you loosen up the bolt Go ahead and make sure you don't drop it because it's super small and super easy to lose. You're gonna go ahead and unplug this back clip right here, just like so, plug it up, and then you should just be able to remove it. As you can see, it's pretty much kind of old. Uh, the coil is still okay-ish, but I wanted to replace it before it goes bad because like, not from the dirt, but if you see like the little crack that's right there, and like, I think there's another one like around here somewhere. Yeah, right there. Those are bad signs that basically if I don't uh, replace it sometime soon, it's gonna tend to go back. And pretty much the new one, we're gonna go ahead and just push it in just like so until you pretty much hear it seal up all the way down. And once you have it pushed all the way down, just give it a little wiggle just to make sure it's in and then just go ahead and plug this back boy back in i don't think it yeah there we go and then just bolt this back up i like to do it by hand just to make sure it's completely in so that we don't strip the bolt for future reference and then we go ahead and just torque it down just a little bit not too tight because you don't want to break it and we're good and then we're done and then now since we installed it we're going to go ahead and turn on our cars make sure everything is running smooth check it out from the outside real quick but yeah guys make sure you give this video a like comment and subscribe down below it's pretty simple pretty straightforward didn't even take me more than like two minutes just to do this thing um but yeah basically this is the old ignition coil you want to stay on maintenance and make sure your coils are good because like if these go bad your car will start depending on whether it's the first second third or fourth but a check engine light will appear and if that happens your car can misfire and it won't run perfectly um so yeah make sure your ignition coils are good while you're at it, just a word of advice, check your spark plugs too. I didn't do it because I already replaced the spark plugs like maybe I think about 
a month ago or so, so I know they're still okay. But for the most part, I just wanted to switch out this ignition coil just to keep up with the maintenance to make sure this car, this car runs a little better and a, a lot smoother as I can feel the car right now, to be honest with you. It feels really, really solid. Um, but yeah, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I'll catch you guys later. Hope you liked today's video and I hope it helps with you guys on your maintenance and peace.